Hey everybody, Mark Smith the Comics and I'm back. This time with my hot picks for New Comic Book Day, I'm going to give you my top five picks. If you're interested in that, stay tuned for the intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So I'm going to give you my top five picks for new comic book day. It's going to be whether it's good reads, hot covers, or something speculative. So uh, let's get right into it. Number five. Uh, for number five this week, we're going to do Moon Knight issue number 10. And uh, for Moon Knight issue number 10, we're going to be getting the first full appearance of Rutherford Winner. And uh, we got a little bit of a glimpse on uh, the last page from issue number nine on the character. But um, this is basically an accomplished ex-Hydra assassin terrorist previously appeared in a trade paperback release of The Daughters of the Dragon, which was um, a digital exclusive. Um, not really sure what to expect of this uh, new villain, but uh, definitely seems intriguing. The story's been fantastic, written by Jed McKay. And uh, that's my number five for this week. All right, so for number four this week, we got Batman issue number 122. And in this issue, we get the first full appearance of the Angel Breaker. And uh, it is a full appearance. And um, this is written by Josh Williamson, artwork done by Howard Porter. Um, we do got a couple of covers. The 1 in 25 is pretty cool, actually. Uh, it's like, like this nice holographic uh, cover done by Jock. And um, cover A is also pretty good as well. And uh, so that's number four for this week. All right, so going on to the last three. And um, the top three are going to be all indies. Um, honestly, I could have easily made this list the top five all independents this week. I think uh, the independents are pretty strong, to be honest. But um, for number three, coming from Boom Studios, we got Alice Ever After, issue number one. So this is going to be a five-issue limited series that revisits the Alice in Wonderland story in a dark adult-themed sequel. It's um, a preview of Grimm series. So uh, I'm sure we've all watched the Alice in Wonderland movie growing up. And uh, there was definitely some pretty uh, dark aspects in the actual movie that I thought could have been explored more, but because it was a, a kid's film, obviously they couldn't do that. So I'm hoping Boom Studios can kind of open that up a little bit. There are some pretty cool covers this week um, that I'm going to recommend. And I'm going to look at the J. Scott Campbell covers, specifically the reveal covers. There's a 1 in 10 and a 1 in 50. So if you guys get your hands on those, I think it's going to be really hot. And the cover is pretty nice, if you ask me. So that's number three for the week. Going to number two, we got Red Room Trigger Warnings number two. Um, this is from a small publisher from, what's the company called? Uh, Fantagraphics. So uh, it's written and illustrated by Ed Pisker. Um, if you like the horror um, genre, I think you're gonna like this. And uh, there's some pretty cool covers as well. There's a one in five, one in ten, and one fifteen. Um, the one in five is done by Ed Pisker. The one in ten by Jim Rugg, and one in fifteen by Steve McNiven. Um, the one in ten and one fifteen, I think are gonna do really well. I do like the one in 10. It has that really cool like horror movie um, cover kind of vibe to it. It is, you know, uh, pretty graphic. Uh, not for everybody. <laughs> Definitely not. And uh, we do get, I think, a first uh, appearance of the pumpkins, which you do see in the covers. Actually, a few of the covers. So that's going to be my number two this week. All right. Um, before we get into number one, I'm going to give you some honorable mentions. So uh, we got a, we got a, we got three this week. So from Marvel, we're gonna get X Men Red issue number one. We got a new series. This is volume two of X Men Red. 
It's going to be uh, written by Al Ewing. And um, I don't usually recommend a lot of X-Men books. I just, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of X-Men. But um, I am a big fan of Al Ewing. And uh, this is the Mutants on Arako Live on Mars featuring Storm, Abigail Brand, Vulcan, and Cable. Um, there are a few other X-Men books this week, but I'm going to just recommend this one and uh, as my one honorable mention. Um, for DC, I got Batman Beyond Neo, Neo Year One. And uh, this will be the uh, first appearance of Holographic Man and the origin of Terry McGinnis. Um, I did read Batman Beyond White Knight last week and I actually really enjoyed it. So uh, this one came pretty close to making uh, the top five. And my last honorable mention, and um, this book would have probably been my number one this week. Only reason it did not make my top five, and it's an honorable mention, because a lot of people won't be able to get their hands on this book. And uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a gimmick book, if you ask me. But uh, it's by, the title, first off, is Bunsen Beaver and His Pal Tree, issue number one. <laughs> it's uh, published by Bad Idea under the pseudonym Bad Idea Donuts, and hear me out here, um, it's only going to be available if you go to the South Carolina Comic Con this weekend, coming up, and uh, you get it by purchasing a donut from the Bad Idea Donuts pop-up store at the Comic Con. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be very limited. Um, in quote by Bad Idea, they say that they've created the perfect donut that has twice the taste per bite of any previously known donut, and it literally tastes like you're eating two donuts <laughs> at the same time. Um, this is going to be, this, I, I expect this book to go pretty crazy in the uh, secondary market, but um, I don't like to recommend books that are not widely available, but because of the really limited print run, I do expect this to do really well. But um, that was my last honorable mention this week. So uh, going into number one, we're going to go to Vault Comics. And we got West of Sundown, issue number one. Um, also a pretty limited publisher, but most comic shops will get this book. And uh, that's why I'm putting this as number one. Basically, it's a vampire must flee. Monster Slayers in New York City and reclaim the ancestral soil that restores her undead flesh. Sounds pretty interesting. Um, you see the theme. There is a bit of a horror theme this week for uh, new comics. I am very interested in this title. If I can get my hands on it, I will read it. Uh, I do like monsters, vampires, and all that sorts. So uh, that'll be pretty cool. Um, there are some pretty cool covers and. To be honest, the one cover I am looking at, if you can get your hands on, is going to be that one per store retailer appreciation variant. It is a really cool House of Secrets 92 um, like cover art uh, swipe. So um, that's going to be my number one this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, from Rock Spectre Comics, out.